How you doing? Welcome to Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. Welcome to Hawkeye's Hangout. Did you have an opportunity to view episode 129 of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails? According to YouTube, the video contains scenes that were sexually gratifying. Obviously, the people at YouTube have never watched Pornhub. Not sure why, but YouTube has also removed episodes 4, 35, and 45 of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. They never told me why. Not too much we can do about it. It's their beach, their ways, their rules. It was an attempt for me to share information to you regarding social nudism and family oriented nudist resorts. The nude scenes of people playing ping pong, eating, hanging out on the beach are not what I consider sexual behavior. But YouTube did. YouTube does allow people like Angie Bikini, Stephanie Volker, Priscilla Reichert to publish sexually arousing videos. Not to mention all the Asian Pacific pocket girls and the young girls bouncing their boobies on TikTok. What happened to the sound? Well, anyway, I think you guys are getting a grip on what I was talking about. Yeah, I get aroused watching those videos. Anyway, I've re-edited the video. I hope that it is YouTube compliant. If it's not compliant, YouTube will remove Hawkeye's tails and trails from the World Wide Web. As you know, we try to publish a video every Friday. Enjoy. And next week's episode is going to be about Nudism TV, starring Nathan and Jamie. Watching Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. Please subscribe. Click the thumbs up. Okay. Here's Calafia. Lifestyle influencers, Hawkeye and Genie, testing the bounds of reality and on an excursion checking out cities, communities, villages, towns, ghost towns, transportation towns, cow towns, world towns, hotels, motels, casinos, museums, concert halls, wineries, distilleries, brothels, campgrounds, internment camps, nudist camps, RV parks, dog parks, a dome house, a beach house, a dog beach, slab city. Timbuktu, Area 51, Fountain of Youth, Death Valley, Peggy Sue's Diner, Sherry's Ranch, their bedroom and some other places of interest to find out what is really going on during the post-COVID pandemic era. What do you think about that? You're a Hawkeye! As you can imagine, in their travels they have encountered many different types of communities. What is a community? A community is a social unit, a group of living things, with commonalities such as place, norms, religion, values, customs, or identity. Communities may share a sense of place situated in a given geographical area, like a country, village, town, or neighborhood, or in virtual space through communication platforms. Durable good relations that extend beyond immediate genealogical ties also define a sense of community, important to their identity, practice, and roles in social institutions such as family, home, work, 
government, society, or humanity at large. Although communities are usually small relative to personal social ties, community may also refer to large group affiliations such as national communities, international communities, and virtual communities. People that live on the road, such as long-haul truck drivers and nomads, are a community. Episode 129 is about the nudist community. Social nudism is more extensive than you think. Naturism is a lifestyle of practicing non-sexual social nudity in private and in public. The word also refers to the cultural movement which advocates and defends that lifestyle. Both may alternatively be called nudism. Though the two terms are broadly interchangeable, nudism emphasizes the practice of nudity, whereas naturism highlights an attitude favoring harmony with nature and respect for the environment into which that practice is integrated. With that said, naturists come from a range of philosophical and cultural backgrounds. There is no single naturist ideology. Hawkeye considers himself naturist. Did you see episode 80 of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails? It was a visit to the Western Nudist Research Library and a great interview with Mark. Ethical or philosophical nudism has a long history, with many advocates of the benefits of enjoying nature without clothing. At the turn of the 20th century, organizations emerged to promote social nudity and to establish private campgrounds and resorts for that purpose. Since the 1960s, with the acceptance of public places for clothing optional recreation, individuals who do not identify themselves as naturists or nudists have been able to casually participate in nude activities. Nude recreation opportunities vary widely around the world, from isolated places known mainly to locals through officially designated nude beaches and parks and on to public spaces and buildings in some jurisdictions. Olive Del Ranch is a Southern California nudist resort for families and couples. Located in Colton, California, just a few miles from San Bernardino and Riverside. Olive Del's Ranch, central location is close to many of Southern California's main tourist attractions. It's the ideal spot to enjoy the nudist naturist lifestyle, whether visiting for the day or an overnight stay. Their nudist club offers rental cabins, RV hookups, campsites for extended stays. Numerous amenities such as tennis court, hiking, swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna. Cafe Delicious, run by the Olive Dell family and renowned for their outstanding home cooking. Please drive carefully. There is a community of wild burrows living in the same canyon and in the hills surrounding Olive Dell. Lake Bronson in Sultan, Washington is full of scenic beauty. Lake Bronson Club Family Nudist Park is nestled in the Cascade Mountain foothills, 40 miles northeast of Seattle. This beautiful, 320-acre wooded park is open year-round. It features a 7-and-a-half-acre spring-fed lake with swimming and sunning beach and an 85-foot waterfall that cascades into the Sultan River. There are miles of hiking trails in the park. Lake Bronson is a family-oriented nudist club, catering specifically to those who love nature and the great outdoors. Relax naturally at Willamettans, a modern resort in a secluded setting. The Willamettans is the largest nudist club in the Pacific Northwest, with more than 350 members. They are member-owned and located on 40 acres just 20 minutes outside Springfield, Oregon. Founded in 1953, the 40-acre grounds filled with mature trees, native vegetation, and beautiful gardens invite you to relax and enjoy their resort. Deer and birds abound, making sightings a frequent delight. They are a modern RV resort with over 100 RV sites, most with full hookups, and unlimited, wooded tent sites for camping. The Willamettans welcome singles, couples, and families of all ages. First-time visitors should call first. Glen Eden Sun Club in Temescal Valley, California is another member-owned and operated nudist club that is considered the premier nudist resort on the West Coast. Hawkeye will be publishing an episode about Glen Eden in the near future. If you have not yet experienced the freedom and fun of nude recreation, you are in for a wonderful and liberating experience when you visit these places. 
These locations are nudist clubs and not clothing optional clubs. It is expected that their visitors, members, and their guests are nude whenever appropriate and weather permitting. And always nude in the main recreation areas, pools, hot tubs, sauna, and showers. So, what that means if you are not a nudist, then you got no business being there. Yeah, that is correct. Open sexuality is not permitted at family-orientated clubs. You need to find adult-orientated places to get down. Check Craigslist. If you are interested in more information regarding social nudism and nudist clubs and resorts, contact the American Association for Nude Recreation at their website address on the screen. What do you think about that? I am impressed. Back in the day, we were not that organized. Okay, I think that is it. Let's get dressed, move it on over, and get on down the road. All information is deemed to be reliable, however we will have to wait and see if it really is. Thank you for watching Hawkeye's videos. Let him know what you think. Leave a comment. Click like, click the black tab in the lower right hand corner to subscribe and be notified when new episodes are available. I am the hostess of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails, hard charging pagan woman warrior queen, Califia. Adios muchachos, y muchachas, catch you on down the road. Hasta la vista. Thank you. You did what? Oh yeah. I have done that too.